time, one hope and another. Who knows where this road may go? The beloved animated movie has been reimagined into a Broadway show. So you may remember the 1997 musical classic Anastasia. The stage adaptation is now coming to Portland for a six-day run at Keller Auditorium. And joining us this morning is one of the stars of Anastasia, Sam McClellan. He plays Dimitri in the show. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It's good to be here. Great good to, to have, have you, Sam. Okay, so we were, we were talking in the break. It's been a few years uh, since either one of us has seen the movie. So remind us what Anastasia is about. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, the story that you'll find in the uh, stage adaptation is a little bit different than what you might remember from the animated movie, uh, but the core of the story is the same. Uh, it's a it's a sort of reimagining of the myth surrounding the potential survival of Anastasia um, after the Bolshevik uh, uprising in Russia. Um, so this girl is potentially a princess and we don't know who she is. Uh, in this story, um, a young girl, we don't know who she is, uh, ends up getting connected to these two con men who want to receive the prize money of finding Anastasia and returning her to her, um, to her family. So we follow the stories of this young girl and uh, these two con men as they make their way to Paris uh, to potentially con a rich old woman out of her money. Um, but along the way, we discover so many things about these characters and, and who they really are, um, more than just whether or not they're royalty. Very cool. Very cool. It'll be fun to see how this uh, how this looks on stage and yeah. how it sounds on stage. What will fans of the uh, that animated original movie love about the Broadway adaptation of this? Yeah, absolutely. So many many of the songs are the same, uh, but there's also a lot more music that sort of riffs on the same on the same uh, concept that was established in in the animated film. Uh, many of the characters that you uh, have come to love in the animated movie are going to be there. Um, but just in general, you know, fans of musical theater are really going to enjoy this show. I mean, there's lots of singing, there's lots of dancing, it's very emotional. Um, so fans of the movie and fans of musical theater alike are just going to love it. Yeah, there, there are some really big, beautiful song and dance mm -hmm. and, and big chorus numbers in the show. It's just, it's so cool to, to see it all come to life on stage. Uh, what has it been like to be part of this production? I mean, how are you getting into the role of Dimitri? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Um, actually, this, this is one of the few roles um, that I've played in my career that I feel like I, that uh, resonates with me uh, very well. Well, um, you know, from the second that I started, you know, learning the character and, and studying the script, I felt very connected uh, to his story and understood his struggle. Um, it's all about him, you know, learning who he is and understanding that he has a capacity for compassion, a lot greater capacity for compassion than he ever imagined. Because um, he's lived a life that's been very, you know, he has to fend for himself, fight for himself. And it's a very dark world that he lives in. And this girl comes into his life and shows him that things are so much brighter than he had ever imagined. Very, very neat. Uh, it's interesting. Why, why did you resonate so quickly with this character compared to other characters you've played throughout your career? Yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, I think it's because I understand his need to be defensive, right? And how hard it is for people to break that exterior. Um, and, you know, I I've went through a similar thing in my formative years. And, and I think that, you know, it took me relying on the people around me and trusting the people around me um, to really grow into the person that I was meant to be. And we see Dimitri do this, and it's, a, and it's a real pleasure to be able to tell that story every night. Yeah, you know, it is, a, it is such a cool story. It's been so nice this season to see live theater coming back to the Keller. It is uh, nice. Getting to go scene. see shows. Yeah, yeah and, and of course, you know, we've talked about COVID precautions. Everyone is still having to show proof of vaccination or, or a negative test before they go and, and wear their mask during the performance. How does it feel for you being back on the road and getting back on the stage this year? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, we didn't even know if it was ever going to come back. So it, uh, it kind of feels like a... You know, something that was once dead has been revived, uh, something that we all cared about very much. Um, I'm very proud of uh, the way that we're handling, you know, our COVID protocols and everything like that. Um, and every theater that we've gone to has been very compliant with, with our expectations. And, and we've been doing a great job. So everybody feels safe and just elated to be back and just so happy every night to be <laughs> performing again. Well, we're, we're excited to have you in, uh, in the Rose City and over just across the street at uh, Keller Auditorium. It will be a ton of fun. Sam McClellan, 
Thanks for so much for taking the time this morning. Do they still say break a leg in, in the oh, industry? Yeah, Is that leg. still something that's common? <laughs> they do indeed. All right, then break a leg. Break a leg. Appreciate you joining us. Yeah, thank you so much, you guys. All right, thank you. And, and